How you doing, Patty? <laughs> so do you have a story that you could share with me about your um, moving here to Fort Mill? Oh, I, we have an exciting story. Uh, it actually started um, a year ago at this time, and uh, we were living in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and uh, our situation changed. And we, we just knew, we had to make a decision, you know, do we stay in Hershey or do we move? And um, we were managing a bed and breakfast at the time, and my husband and I were in two different uh, locations when we were sort of kind of crying out to the Lord about what we were going to do. And, uh, you know, like, where, where are we going to go? Are we going to stay here? Are we going to move? And the Lord spoke really clearly to my heart, and he said, Fort Mill, South Carolina. And I had to laugh because <laughs> Fort Mill was not one of the top ten destinations that we would ever move to. So um, I said, well, Lord, you're going to have to tell Bill because, you know, I don't want to be the one to give him the news. <laughs> so I saw him a little later in the day, and Bill said to me, hey, Ann, how about Fort Mill, South Carolina? Really? I'm like, I can't believe you're saying this because God just told me this morning Fort Mill, and I wanted him to tell you. And, um, you know, Bill was so excited that we had both heard so clearly from the Lord. So then when you're taking, you know, a, a step of faith like that, um, because, uh, you know, we had, to, we had to pack everything and store everything, and we were wondering, you know, is God really going to provide? And, uh, and so uh, we were walking through a strip mall one day, and this uh, cashier jumps out on the sidewalk, and she says, would you like a free coffee? And we were like, well, you know, it's kind of hot, but, you know, we, she said, well, you can have a cold beverage. She said the patron before us had given her $30 and told her to buy everyone's drinks up to $30. And so we went inside. She made us beautiful mango shakes all for free. And, and we had just been talking about, you know, how is God going to provide for us? And then um, so we walk out of that store. We had these beautiful, huge mango shakes with whipped cream on top. So then uh, several days went by, and it was getting closer, you know, for our time to move. Oh, and I should, I should say this because this was really hilarious. We were like, God, okay, well, Fort Mill, where are we going to go in Fort Mill, and why are you sending us there? So we get this mysterious email from Morningstar <laughs> Ministries, and uh, in the email, it was inviting us to the Partners Weekend. And uh, we weren't partners. We didn't fit the description. We, um, we knew about Morningstar Ministries, but you know, we hadn't really been following them much. And, uh, but God answered two really important questions. You know, when we needed to be there, June 1st. And, uh, so June 1st was when the... The Partners Weekend. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's when, that was the day of the Partners Weekend. Um, and the fact that we could just come here and stay here, you know, at Morningstar. So... Um, Okay, so anyhow, back to our time in Hershey. We're getting ready. We're, we've packed everything, and we're getting ready to go. My husband wanted to take me out to dinner, so um, we went out to this restaurant called Olive Garden. And we're talking again, you know, is God really going to provide? You know, because we're just taking a step of faith on a word to go to Fort Mill. And uh, we were just in a really engaged and exciting conversation about our trip when the manager comes over to us, and she says, your dinners are on the house because they've been <laughs> delayed. And we had our whole entire date night wow. you really paid for by the Lord. So we were like, wow, yeah, God's really kind of provide. But it gets even more exciting than that. Like we came down um, May 31st. We had a four-night stay here at Morningstar. And uh, the Partners Weekend was just, you know, off the charts. And we met wonderful people like you <laughs> and your husband and other people that, that were part of Morningstar. And um, on the fourth day, this woman approached me and she said, I think I'm supposed to drive you through some neighborhoods. So while she was driving me through some neighborhoods, um, we went into this one little neighborhood and there was a for rent sign. And she even commented, you know, that's unusual for a for rent sign to be, you know, on the entrance to this um, area. And I said, you know, I think I'm supposed to call that phone number. So I called that phone number, and it led us to a family from Hershey, Pennsylvania, who not only were from our own hometown, but they were from our own home church. 
and their friends were our friends. You know, God just cares about you so much, and he really wants to network, you know, his people together. And when we discovered that the people who owned this uh, condominium for rent were from our own home church, they said to us, you know, hey, you know, why don't you, you know, this unit's too big for you, so why don't you come live with us? And so here, God even provided a place for us to live. And uh, it's, it's amazing because as former innkeepers who were entrusted with the care of other people, here we were being cared for in just the, in a most special way. And God gave us the grace um, to live with that family for seven months. Every time we thought we wanted to leave, you know, uh, every time we thought, well, we, don't, we didn't want to become, um, you know, like permanent <laughs> fixtures to their household, but every time we thought we would move, a husband or the wife would immediately be there and say, you know, just rest. Just, you know, enjoy the, the anointed atmosphere here. Just rest, and, and the day will come when you're to leave. But, you know, just we just love having you here. Wow. Isn't that just so great? That's amazing. And then, um, so we were with them for seven uh, months, and then all of a sudden we were contacted because there was an opportunity to actually live right here in Morningstar. And so God has just like prepared everything. He's provided for us every step of the way. And, um, and it just, you know, every day there's just new provision of some sort. Wow. Yeah. What a great story. It is. It's such a great story.